What could a million Nobel Prize level scientists create working 24/7 at superhuman speed? Now, applied for good, that could bring about a world of truly unimaginable abundance, because suddenly you get an explosion of benefits, and, and this is the possible of AI, bringing about a world of abundance. But what's the probable? Well, one way to think about the probable is how will AI's power get distributed in society? Imagine a two-by-two -two axis, and on the bottom we have decentralization of power, increasing the power of individuals in society. And the other is centralized power, increasing the power of states and CEOs. You can think of this as the let it rip axis, and this is the lock it down axis. So let it rip means we can open source AI's benefits for everyone. Every business gets the benefits of AI. Every scientific lab. Every 16-year-old can go on GitHub. Every every developing world country can get their own AI model with their own. A train on their own language and culture, because that power is not bound with responsibility, it also means that you get a flood of deepfakes that are overwhelming our information environment. You increase people's hacking abilities. You enable people to do dangerous things with biology, and we call this end game attractor chaos. This is one of the probable outcomes when you decentralize. So, in response to that, you might say, "Well, let's do something else. Let's go over here and have regulated AI control." Let's do this in a safe way with a few players locking it down, but that has a different set of failure modes of creating unprecedented concentrations of wealth and power locked up into a few companies. One way to think about it is: Who would you trust to have a million times more power and wealth than any other actor in society? Any company? Any government? Any individual? And so, one of those end games is dystopia.